Today's topic for discussion is linear convolution. So here we are going to linearly convolve two sequences. Let the sequences be x of n and h of n. My first sequence is x of n and my second sequence is h of n. Let the length of x of n is L and let the length of h of n be M. Then the output uh, or the convoluted sequence will have a length. Let y of n be the convoluted sequence will have a length of L plus M minus 1. So this is the length of your linear convolution output. And the equation for linear convolution is given as y of n is equal to sigma k is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of k into h of n minus k. So this is the equation to perform linear convolution. Now I am going to explain with the help of an example how I can perform linear convolution of two sequences. So I am going to perform an example. Let my first input x of n be set 1, 2, 3 and 1. And my second sequence h of n be say 1, 1 and 1. I am going to write the generalized equation. Linear convolution y of n is given as sigma k is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of k into h of n minus k. Now I am going to identify the length. Uh, length values L and M. Here L which is the in, uh, length of your first input is 1, 2, 3, 4. L is 4 and M is 3. So the length of Y of N will be length of Y of N is L plus M minus 1 which is 4 plus 3 minus 1 which is 4 plus 2 is 6. So you have to find the linear convolution output for n is equal to 0 to 5 or it will be uh, it will have a length of 6. So here n will vary from 0 to 6. So first I am going to find the value y of 0 or here n is taken as 0. That means the equation becomes k is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of k here n is 0 so h of minus k. I am going to use the graphical method. First, I am going to draw my x of k. x of k will be the time point is the time points here is 0, 1, 2 and 3. So, 0, 1, 2 and 3 and the values are at the time point 0, the value is 1. At time point 1, the value is 2. At time point 2, the value is 3. And at time point 3, the value is again 1. So, this is your x of k signal. Here I have identified the time points 0, 1, 2 and 3. I have marked it in the x axis. And the signal values is 1, 2, 3 and 1. Now I am going to draw my h of k first. First I am going to identify the time points that is 0, 1 and 2. So I am going to draw my h of k 0 the time points are 1 and 2 and the values is same 1 1 and 1 so the values is 1 1 and 1 now I am going to draw my I here I need my h of minus k so now from this I am going to draw my h of minus k so h of minus k will be the mirror image of h of k so the values will be at 0 minus 1 and minus 2 and the signal values is 1 1 and 1 so this is my h of minus k so this is my h of k and from this I have obtained my h of minus k now I am going to take the product of x of k and h of minus k to perform linear convolution so 
I hope this signal uh, multiplication is familiar to everyone. So I am going to multiply these two signals. Uh, in order to multiply these two signals, you have to identify the common points. Here uh, the only common point is 0. This signal doesn't have any value at 1, 2, 3 or any points. And this signal doesn't have any values at minus 1. So there is only one common point which is 0. So 1 into the value at uh, point 0 is 1. So here value will be 1 into 1 that is equal to 1. So your y of 0 is 1. So this is your first uh, linear convolution output. That is this is your y of 0. Now you have to find y of 1. So here n is 1 and the equation becomes k is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of k into h of here n is 1 so 1 minus k. Again I am going to write it in the form x of k here I can write it as h of minus k plus 1. I can write 1 minus k as minus k plus 1 right. So how will you obtain h of minus k plus 1 from the h of minus k signal. Here uh, in order to obtain h of minus k plus 1 or h of 1 minus k from h of minus k you have to simply add 1 to the time points of h of minus k. That means you have to shift these time points that is 0, minus 1 and minus 2 to 1 point right. Or you have to add 1 to these time points. So this 0 will become 1, minus 1 will become minus 1 plus 1 is 0 and minus 2 plus 1 is minus so the signal h of 1 minus k or h of minus k plus 1 is uh, at points 0, minus 1 and at plus 1. And the values is 1, 1 and 1. So this is your h of 1 minus k or h of minus k plus 1 signal. Now in order to find y of 1 you have to take the product of this with your input signal x of k. So you have to identify which are the common points. The common points are at 0 and plus 1. So y of 1 is given as uh, at 0 it is 1 and 1 that is 1 into 1 plus. So you have, here you have to take the product and add some. So 0 at the point 0 the signal is having uh, both the signals are having value 1 so 1 into 1 plus uh, at the point 1 h of 1 minus k value is 1 and x of k value is 2 that is 2 into 1 2 into 1 so the answer is 1 plus 2 that is equal to 3. Now you have to find uh, the value of y of 2. So here n is 2 and I am going to draw again my signal x of k. The value is uh, at 0 the value is 1, at 1 the value is 2, at 2 the value is 3 and at the point uh, 3 the value is again 1. So the signal is 1, 2. 3 and 1. Now for y of 2 the equation for linear convolution is sigma k is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of k h of here n is 2 2 minus k. Again I am going to write it as k is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of k h of minus k plus 2. So again, from your h of minus k plus 1 signal, you can find your h of 
minus k plus 2 by shifting the minus k plus 1 signal to one point right. First I am going to draw my first I am going to draw my here I am going to draw my h of minus k plus 1 signal it was at point 0 minus 1 and plus 1 the values is same which is 1 1 1 and 1 so this is my h of minus k plus 1 signal and what will be my uh, h of minus k plus 2 signal so you have to shift it one point to right so i'm going to shift it so the minus 1 will become 0 0 will become 1 and 1 will become 2 okay so 0 so the signal is having values at 0 1 and 2 and the value is 1 1 1 I hope it is clear again you have to take product of h of minus k plus 2 with your x of k you have to identify the common points yes the signal is having values at 0 1 and 2 so uh, the signal value is 1 so first 1 into 1 plus 1 into 2 plus 1 into 1 into 3 so the value is 1 plus 2 plus 3 that is 6 so your y of 2 is 6 now you have to find your y of 3 y of 4 y of 5 yes till y of 5 you have to find because the length of your output y of n is from 0 to 5 you have to find that is its length is 6 so you have to find these points y of 3, y of 4 and y of 5. So for this you have to multiply. I am writing the equation. So for y of 3 the equation becomes k is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of k h of 3 minus k or k is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of k h of minus k plus 3 so here again you have to shift your minus k plus 2 signal to one point right right direction you have to shift so the signal will be so earlier the signal had point as uh, had values at 0 1 and 2 now it will be having values at 1 2 and 3 so you have to take the product of 1, 2 and uh, I mean uh, you have to take the values at 1, 2 and 3 and take the product with the signal x of k. So this is your, this signal is your h of minus k plus 3. This is your h of minus k plus 3. This is your h of minus k plus 3. So you have to take its product with your x of k. Then the values will be at 1. Uh, the value of h of minus k plus 3 is 1 into the value of x of k is 2 plus um, at point 2, 1 into 3 plus at point 3, 1 into 3. Sorry, 1 into 1. That is 2 plus 3 plus 1. That's again 6. So y of 3 is 6. So similarly you can find the values for y of 4 and 5. And the results are obtained as y of 4 is 4 and y of 5 is 1. So here only difference is that you have to shift your uh, h of k sequence. h of k sequence you have to shift and your x of k is is always same you have to multiply with it and add so your final output for linear convolution is set 1 3 6 6 4 and 1 so this is a method with which you can find the linear convolution result and the length of your linear convolution is l plus m minus 1 so till this point you have to vary your small n value 
where L is the length of your first input and M is the length of your second input. So this is how you can find linear convolution.